Welcome to the mass measurements experiment for chemistry 1105 lab. This particular experiment corresponds to lab C and experiment number two in the textbook. The first part of the textbook, the background, you'll want to be sure and note five key concepts. The difference between mass and weight, the digital electronic balance, know the difference between tearing versus weight by difference, and of course, how to record data to the proper number of sig figs, and if you do a calculation, to report your final result to the proper number of sig figs. Let's move to the experiment itself now, part A. It calls for you to weigh two objects. Object A is a metal rod, and B is going to be a rubber stopper. You always need to tear a balance first. The way these balances work, you'll see the thing that looks like a little G on the far right. When that comma after it goes out, you have a stable number. Here we're taking the direct weight of the metal object, and you can see the comma is out. You pick any number that you see, any value, so long as the comma is out, and the balance has had five or so seconds to equilibrate. It's up to you to pick the number that you record, so long as it's stable. Moving on to the next part of the experiment, we're going to do weight by difference. And that's where you're going to take the mass of a beaker, and then you're going to take the mass of the beaker plus the object, which in this case is the metal rod. You're going to measure that, and then you're going to subtract the two. The idea being, of course, the weight of the container plus the object minus the weight of the container is equal to the mass of the object. When making a measurement, it's common to see fluctuations in the last couple of digits. When that happens, just remember to record a number when the comma on the other side of the G has gone out. Starting now, object two of part A of the experiment. For this part, you're going to do essentially what you did for the metal rod. You're going to determine the weight directly. You can determine weight by difference, and then you're going to compare the two. That difference between those two types of measurements will be recorded on line one of section A. Remember in your manual to record all things to the correct number of significant figures. For a balance, for the particular balance you see, it will always be to the third decimal place. Record all digits you see when recording a digital balance. Moving now to part B, you're going to essentially repeat Part A for object one, you're going to take the same object and merely repeat that experiment on a different balance. And you can indeed see this is a difference balance because rather than a G on the right hand side, you see a U. For this particular balance, when that U goes out, the balance is stable and you're free to record your value at that time. Picking up the video where it is now, you've already made the direct measurement and now you're making the indirect measurement for the metal rod on balance B. Again, after each measurement, you should be stopping and recording those in your manual. Part C, the idea here is to measure the weight of water that you pour from one container and to measure the amount of water you receive in another. Start by weighing an empty graduated cylinder. To that graduated cylinder, we're gonna add some water. case it looks like we put about 22 milliliters in there. Of 
we now have the weight of the graduated cylinder plus the water. From those, you can calculate the value for line 1, section C. Mass of the beaker. Now for the transfer. Pouring part of the water from the graduated cylinder into the beaker. Of course, the cylinder unit has lost mass and the beaker has gained mass. Final weight of the graduated cylinder in water. and final weight of the beaker in water. And that's a wrap for this experiment. From the video, you should be able to record all data in your report form to the correct number of sig figs, perform the calculations, then answer the post lab questions and submit it all as instructed in the assignment C.